Hello, this is the video for EN15, VTEC engine valve adjustment. After viewing this video, you should be able to adjust the valves on the NSX VTEC engine to service manual specifications. The NSX VTEC is a highly sophisticated engine. Because of the mid-engine design, valve adjustment is a somewhat challenging procedure. Throughout the procedure, care should be taken to protect the body. The lifters in the VTEC engine are the mechanical type, so the adjustment procedure that you are about to see should be done on a periodic basis for peak engine performance. The first step of the procedure is to secure the service manual and the special tools which have been provided to make the task easier. The service manual contains the proper specifications. Tools include the feeler gauge, valve adjustment tool, and mirror for easier viewing. Before adjusting the valves, a VTEC inspection should always be performed to ensure that all of the VTEC mechanisms are operating correctly and are in the low speed position. The adjustment point for the NSX is done directly on the valve or toe end of the rocker arm. And the clearance measurement is done between the cam lobe and the rocker arm. In contrast, Integra adjustment is done at the pivot point, not at the valve. Start by setting the engine at top dead center for the cylinder to be adjusted. Note that the top cover of the camshaft has a curved surface to act as a socket guide in locating the adjustment point. Now loosen the adjuster mechanism. Insert the feeler gauge of the correct thickness and then turn the adjustment screw until the feeler gauge slides back and forth with a slight amount of drag. Now tighten the lock nut and check the clearance again. Repeat the adjustment if necessary. Adjust the remaining valves on this cylinder in a similar manner and follow up any adjustment by tightening the lock nuts to the proper torque. Make sure you check clearance after torquing the lock nut. Now that you've viewed the video, retrieve the items called out in the what you will need section of the module. Then go to your workstation and practice the skills outlined in this video until you feel comfortable with them. Then be prepared to demonstrate those skills for your instructor.